Good afternoon. I'm here with my moose friend. <laughs> Imagine I've been coming to this um, uh, shopping center for many, many times and I've never discovered him here. <laughs> so uh, I'm here with my moose friend and it's um, um, milder in temperature right now. So which is why I'm not wearing a beanie. Uh, it's plus plus four I think on becoming plus three now because it's uh, getting uh, darker soon and uh, yeah it's no more minus so that's a good thing I want to talk about um, what's the number one mistake the classic uh, mistake that uh, one can make in chasing the northern lights and what is that you think um, again I mentioned uh, and talk about this quite uh, extensively in my book um, if you want to check out the book um, uh, feel free to check out on my website scandyplanet.com but so here's the thing when you are chasing the northern lights the biggest mistake that uh, anyone can make is to book a hotel or book a nice resort and stay put stay there for a couple of days and just wait for it to appear um, in my opinion and in based on my humble experience with my clients um, that is not um, the best thing to do. I tell you why. Number one, um, catching the northern lights is really about being at the um, at the right place at the right time, and uh, you want to be there in real time and to chase after them. There's a reason why they call it the northern lights chase because you want to be there when it's uh, dancing, and uh, if you decide to just stay, uh, stay put in one place. It could be happen happening anywhere else, but not there where you are. And so you are actually reducing your chances of doing that. So I highly recommend that you leave it to the experts and let the experts drive you because they know the roads better and they can get to the places much faster. Um, another reason is that um, these vendors, they cooperate, they collaborate during the during the chase the competition is not um, in finding the northern lights the competition is getting the clients but when uh, night falls and it's time to chase the northern lights it's anyone's game and uh, they talk to one another so if let's say one of your vendors uh, maybe you know your guide finds it a bit difficult on that, that time to to, uh, to find some northern lights uh, and not much luck what they do is they're gonna call one of the vendors one of their friends and check how is it over there where are you guys you know uh, do you have much luck and so uh, you know they said no um, you know we, we, we are here and uh, it looks good and we've just had a, a major show and it looks like it's going on so why don't you come over yeah so um that's a great advantage can you imagine it's almost like uh, you are not only are you engaging the service of one company in fact you are engaging the services of one or two or maybe even three because your guide might be calling one or two other guides um on the road so that's really really uh, perfect so that's the tip for my for me today um and i would say that this is the goal tip <laughs> the goal <laughs> the golden advice of all the tips that i've given uh so far this is the number one uh classic mistake that you must not make um so uh, do not book based on um the accommodation oh this looks like a really nice place for us to just chill and so we're just gonna you know camp ourselves and just wait a couple of nights you are also wasting time in that sense sure you may think that maybe um there are certain places that has a higher possibility of uh, uh you know sighting of the northern lights it's true however um you are reducing your chances um and that will also mean that you will have to stay at this place longer as opposed to maybe three nights or even two three nights only in uh, in other places uh had you engaged a guide instead yeah so uh, that's it for today, um, I'll catch you again, I'm gonna be starting to drive soon before it gets too dark, can you see that, uh, oh I think 
it's so bright uh, it's really pretty uh, pink out there but unfortunately you can't see all right but I gotta go um, catch you again tomorrow bye bye